what happened on December 1st, 1955. A couple of you know. What happened? Rosa Parks uh, got on a bus in uh, Montgomery, Alabama, um, and she was ordered to stand up so that a white man could take her seat because the flags were supposed to fill from the back and white and whites always had priority. And she said her feet were tired. She was actually a member of the NAACP, so, more than just a whim. So Rosa Parks, and she was arrested. So Rosa Parks got on a bus in Montgomery, Alabama. Well, she did that every day, because she worked, she was a seamstress in, in a, 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 a what do you call those big stores? Like, I, uh, department store, thank you, a department store. I, I go to those places. And she was a seamstress in a department store, and she got on the bus every day. But on that day, and, and, and Ron is right, she was a member of the NAACP, and this was, this was a plan. But on that day, on that day, on December 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks got on a bus in Montgomery, Alabama, and when the bus got full, and, and there's a hint as to what had happened because there's a picture of Rosa Parks sitting on a bus right here. You know this is a staged picture because it's an empty bus, right? But she got on this bus, and when the bus, and she went and sat behind the marker that said whites only, but when the bus started to get full, that marker got moved, that, that middle area of the bus, black people were told to get up and give their seats to white people. People. And on that day, when the bus driver told the people in the middle section of the bus to get up and give their seats to white people, Rosa Parks did not move. Rosa Parks said her feet were tired. Well, I bet they were. And she did not move. Now, she knew she was going to be arrested. She knew she was breaking the law. And she was arrested. And there are pictures of her having her fingerprints taken and pictures of, of her, you know, her mug shot and going to jail. And that kicked off the Montgomery bus boycott. Because it might have been the law, but it wasn't what was right. And there were a lot of white people who said, well, it's not the right time. And there are a lot of people up north who are just coming down here and making trouble. Because in the north, these segregation laws didn't exist. But in the south, these laws did exist. But you know what talks louder than almost anything? Is money. Money talks really loud. And so, when all the black people got together and said, no matter what, we are not going to ride those buses. We will not be subjected to this kind of treatment. We will walk. We will carpool. We will wear out our shoes before we ride those buses and get subjected to that kind of treatment. And that boycott lasted a long time. They finally wore down the bus companies. Because what were the bus companies losing? Money. <laughs> so on December 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks sat down.
People change a lot of things by sitting down. There were segregated lunch counters. Only white people could sit at lunch counters. And so does anybody here, is anybody here old enough to remember what a lunch counter is? And I wasn't born in 1955. I wasn't born yet, but I remember, I remember five and dimes and, and drugstores that had some lunch counters. You could go into the Woolworths and go to the lunch counter. And so a lot of black people went and sat down at lunch counters and they wouldn't get served, but they were, they had their money and they were ready to order. They got spat on. They had food poured on them. They were called names. They were being very brave because it was very dangerous to do. But they accomplished a lot by sitting down because when you sit down in a seat, can anybody else sit down in that seat? What did it cost the lunch counters? Cost him money. So I would like you today to remember Rosa Parks. She died in 2005, but we will not forget her. We will not forget her for getting on a bus on December 1st, 1955 and sitting down.